Hello and welcome into Wells Fargo Arena for the House of Sparky post game show alongside Julian Potas. I'm Austin Burnett. The number 22 Sun Devils lost to unranked Utah tonight. Uh, Julian, first off in the first quarter, uh, the Sun Devils down early. They were down 13 to three, and, but then they made a 17 to four run, and they were also up by 11 points at the end of the third quarter. Uh, what were some things that you saw that led to the Sun Devils breakdown and their loss today? Well, like you said, early in the game in the first quarter, they started off slow. And I think a lot of that has to contribute to the point where they weren't able to convert on a lot of easy baskets. Uh, they didn't pass the ball as much, but they were trying to lock down on defense. And for the most part, that worked to their advantage in the second and third quarter. But when it came to the fourth, Utah just grinded to the end, just, just working it inside, scoring the ball much better. And ultimately that led to the, to, uh, the Sun Devils' downfall. Yeah, and they were outscored 26 to 13, doubled the amount of points they scored in the fourth quarter. Uh, what, were, what were some of their breakdowns uh, on the defensive end today? Well, you saw definitely in the first quarter, which led to most of the breakdowns, that they weren't really able to shut down inside uh, Utah for the most part. They outscored uh, Arizona State in the paint, and that was a huge, a huge factor in their loss today. Um, Another thing is that Utah really was able to play a, a huge level of physicality that the uh, Sun Devils haven't seen up to this point in the season. And uh, that's definitely going to be something that they're going to have to pick up in their next matchup. Yeah, and Charlie Turner Thorne um, also said in the press conference that this is an injured team. And I know basketball is a long season. Yes. But what does this mean heading into Colorado on Sunday and even in, into the rest of the season? Mm -hmm. Thorne in that, in that press conference that you mentioned, she also said that they have to try to buckle down on defense as well as uh, try to rebound the ball a little better. Because this team, as they've seen all season, as everyone has seen all season, is great at rebounding, great at locking down on defense. They're great at being able to keep the turnovers on the low. And I think if they're able to do that and be able to stay uh, with the squad that they have now, regardless of whether or not they're healthy um, or not, this team has been able to compete with some of the best teams in the in the conference. So this matchup against Colorado is not going to be any different. It's not going to be any easier or difficult, but it's going to be a testament to how they can play as a team and be able to get a win in the end. Yeah, the Sun Devils on a three-game skid right now as they head in to play Colorado at 2 p.m. on Sunday. But that'll wrap it up for us here at the House of Sparky post-game show. For Julian Potas, I'm Austin Burnett. We'll see you next time.